Hey guys, welcome again to our tutorial series. In our previous video, we learned the current state of ICT, which include Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and Web 3.0. Web 1.0 is known as Static Web, or Read Only Web, since there was no user interaction. Web 2.0 is known as Dynamic Web or Read and Write Web. This means that users can now interact, contribute and create their own internet space and content resulting in the explosion of information available for everyone on the net. The Web 3.0 is also known as the Semantic Web, or Data Driven Web. All available information is based on real-time events. Users can now stay connected to the live internet at all times. Example of it is the live streaming in Facebook and in YouTube. In today's video, we are going to study the key features of Web 2.0. So join me once again. Let us explore our topic today. The key features of Web 2.0. The key features of Web 2.0 include number one, folksonomy, two, rich user experience, three, user participation, four, long tail, five, we have software as a service, and six, mass participation let us study the six features of web 2.0 one by one the folksonomy folksonomy is the process of using digital content tags for categorization or annotation it allows users to classify websites pictures documents and other forms of data so that content may be easily categorized and located by users folksonomy is also known as social tagging collaborative tagging, social classification and social bookmarking. Popular networking sites such as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and others, use tags that start with the pound sign, hash. This is also referred to as hashtag. Number 2. The rich user experience. Rich user's experience means that the content is dynamic and is responsive to user's input. An example would be a website that shows local content. In the case of social networking sites, when logged on, your account is used to modify what you see in their website. Number 3. The user participation. That means the owner of the website is not the only one who is able to put content. Others are able to place a content of their own by means of comments, reviews, and evaluation. Some websites allow readers to comment on the article, participate in a pool, or review specific product. Example, the Amazon, Lazada, Shopee, and other online stores. User participation means that web users are participating in the web content creation, tagging, and sharing. Social networking includes creating user profiles to social networking applications and communicating with other web users through those applications. Number 4. The long tail. The long tail is about focusing on the less popular content that previously couldn't be accessed because of some physical limitation, most often shelf space. This means that services that are offered on demand rather than on a one-time purchase. This is synonymous to subscribing to a data plan that charges you for the amount of time you spent in the internet, or a data plan that charges you for the amount of bandwidth you used. Next we have the software as a service. Here, users will subscribe to a software only when needed rather than purchasing them. This is a cheaper option if you do not always need to use software. Software as a service allows you to rent a software for a minimal fee. Lastly, we have number 6, the mass participation. In mass participation, diverse information sharing through universal web access. Since most users can use the Internet, Web 2.0's content is based on people various cultures. And that's conclude our lesson for today. I am Teacher William. See you again next time. Good day.